Howdy cowdies. Weekly walkabout time at the collector. We've been bloody busy again. We've got some more nice stuff. I like the little sterling silver little ewer or jug over the back. I think it's in the 1970s and it's quite weighty. This little Clisone stamp box. Sterling brushes. Nice little sort of brown rice bead necklace. Got some nice little bits of ladies' nine carat gold watch. This is really pretty. I think it's nine or it might be 18 carat brooch with the butterfly wing. Have a nice little stick pin there with the opal. Cool blue and green colour of the opal. I got some blokey gear, the old sort of radiator badge there. Nice little amp hole spout. And a little green box over the back, I think, is a little Swiss made tachometer. Some really nice costume jewellery, markersite, coins and stuff. What else have we got? These two big bloody wine racks. They're rippers. A wine cabinet, whatever you want to call them. They're in great condition. Someone came in before and said they'd be, look, they'd be better if they were full. <laughs> nice big heavy gilt frame mirror. This is a lovely little sort of silky oak bookcase with the arch top to go on the top. I just couldn't put it on there. The screws through the base are not biting in anymore. So if you had to open the actual door on it, the whole top sort of comes over, so you've got to be a bit careful, but it's a beautiful old bit, it's like a 1900 if not a bit earlier. Secretaire. 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 <laughs> Some nice sort of um, architectural prints. Big Demijohn. Some sort of little two-stroke tins. Cool little group lot, some cut crystal glasses, nice little champagnes over the back with the twist through, cocktail shaker, and those ones. <laughs> some cool vintage ladies clothing, cycling jerseys, some cool kids clothing. What else have we got? Military books, DVDs and stuff, CDs and stuff. Cool little lot of sort of mid-century planters, troughs, Mapex drum kit. There you go. It needs a few stands and things like that, bass drum pedal. But you get a bonus condensed microphone with it. MIDI keyboard. Some cool audio gear. Golf clubs, hockey sticks, pictures, some good records this week. And this is a big... Uh, Mercury ship's barometer in the box. It's never been used. Some good records. ZZ Top, bit of Nick Cave, Rodriguez, Sid Barrett. It's a pretty good thing, this. What else have we got? Nice old sort of trunk made out of sort of repurposed timber. It looks like old Baltic pine floorboards or something. These look like old fence palings. Nice little cedar chest. Pretty much sort of near new Makita lawnmower. A couple of nice big 19 sort of, or they're both actually dated on the back 1980, made by Allwood in Western Australia. Big teak veneer sort of wall units. What else have we got? Audio gear, records, sort of retro style chair. Uh, skaties. There you go. A pretty cool old one here, an old wooden one with the wheels that are a little bit chewy. Uh, blockhead decks, pretty cool. Cane wear and stuff. What else have we got? More records, a bit of Barry White. Some footy books. These are cool. The Sesame Street Library and the Charlie Brown Encyclopedias. And all the Whitman TV books. Lassie, Hawaii Five-O, The Invaders. They're a good lot. Alright, what else have we got? More records. These are all sort of soundtracks and stuff. Another good mix lot there as well. Some more nice furniture. Nice little lot of various rugs. And there's these two rugs. Nice serpentine front, sort of mahogany veneer chest is an absolute cracker. Here's another nice little sort of bedside table there. Big box of Lego. Box of Hornby O-Gage railway gear. Right. Another nice big sort of bow front chest. Again, mahogany veneer. These samplers are really nice. We think this is 1788. Pretty cool thing. Really like this table, little sort of work table with the big exposed bolts and stuff. 
Another nice little sampler, dated 1801. EC Price. Big Chinese ancestral watercolour. Little clothes mannequins, pretty cool as well. It's a great bit, the Mount Kosciuszko original uh, travel poster, Sydney to the summit in sunshine via the south coast. Really cool thing. There's a little bit of a little bit of damage here and there, but it's pretty good actually, considering its age and the rest of it. He's a ripper. What else have we got? Winifred Austin, little British etching of the Irish setter. Jack Miller, I think he's American. There's a the nice the marigold prints, pair of them. Alan uh, Fizzle, big nice big traditional oil. Barbara Peak. William Boisevane, little nude study. The big Alfred Sinclair watercolour is a ripper. Big gum tree there next to the little bridge over the river. Dali exhibition poster. Nice little British school watercolour. It's unsigned, but it's a sweet little thing. And this is a great little bit, the little Lionel Lindsay. Uh, the swinging bridge. There you go. The nice little Lionel Lindsay etching. Some good pictures this week. Old reel to reel. Old typewriter, which does open up. It's an old Mercedes one, I think. There we go. She's pretty cool. The old Merc typewriter. Great collection of uh, footy cigarette cards all framed up. These are pretty cool. There he is, Roy Kazali. That's some great stuff. This thing's pretty cool, the African sort of loincloth or lap lap, all the beaded decoration and these weird sort of heavy metal sort of beads off to the side, all originals in pretty good condition considering. There you go, the lotto barrel, with all your little numbers there to go inside it, rock and mineral specimens, with a lot of cigarette lighters and stuff, nice little sort of smoking stand there, Australian records, midnight oil, Choir Boys, Australian Crawl, Uncanny X-Men. Cool Ericsson sort of Cobra phones or whatever you want to call them. It's a nice little lot with the old carbide bike lamp in amongst there's a ripper, plus some other little postcards and other bits and bobs. A couple of nice little watercolours after Cecil Alden. Little Scottish Terriers. Expandable sewing box. Good little lot of diecast Lesney and Hornby HO gauge. Sort of blues and jazz records. Miles Davis, Charles Mingus. Some good stuff in there. John Coltrane. Terminator toys. Little wind up dudes in those boxes and the little wind up tin toys in those ones. More cigarette cards framed up. Nice little collection of EPS. These little jars have got sterling silver lids on them. Copper and brass extinguisher, some Marlene Dietrich reprint photographs. Cool little lot slide projectors and stuff. This is a great old SS Stuart Surridge cricket bat. He's a ripper. The perfect Stuart Surridge. It's worn. It's like a left-handed left-handed batsman's had that. What else have we got? Some Victorian china. Nice little coal scuttle with the scoop or little sugar scuttle. Sorry. They're pretty cool, sort of decorative, sort of gladiator helmets. Nice little repluggle globe of the world. Little collection of mixed sort of china. Rathjen vase is nice. It's just got a bloody chip in the bottom, unfortunately. Nice collection of glass and crystal. This is a good little lot. Little portable Aristone record player, which looks really clean. We've got a nice little record case and a cool little sort of little speaker. The old door locks a ripper or latch. These are great. The old stickers, school merit stickers. I remember some of these from when I was a kid, but I never actually got any. <laughs> what else have we got? Little lot of Toby jugs. These are all good sort of a Melbourne um, sports ephemera. There's a Melbourne Cup race book there from 1973. Sandown race book, an inaugural meeting, 65. There's other stuff in there as well. These are all cool vintage and modern cartoon character mugs. Inch high private eye. There you go. Smurfs one. Bit of BMO. He's fantastic. From Adventure Time. 
military looking binoculars. They've got big broad arrows on them. Sort of little lot of tools and things. A couple of nice fishing reels. This big one's a pen. I think 6-0 is the model. Good little camera and some accessories. There you go. Tin toy giant train. Here's a good little bit. The little mammoed steam engine attachment. Little grinding machine. He's a good old golf club. This, it looks like he's in great nick. Just can't read it, but there's the details on the top of the wood, but it's just in great condition. I reckon it's seen too many rounds. And how fancy does it look on that little sort of display? Cutlery, there's a set in the box and the set on the little lot on top. These are all cool, all the kids' colouring books and sticker books. You've got Masters of the Universe, Asterix, Snoopy, Mighty Mouse. Spear of Destiny, which is a return to Castle Wolfenstein game, um, like instruction booklet. Nice big Spode dinner set. Really nice. Good collection of crystal, bit of steward in amongst, and some other good quality stuff. Ansonia clock. Nice lot of English. More good crystal and Balik. A little Melrose trough. This is a nice old Australian flag. And it's got on this white part up the side, which we've found out is called the hoist. It's got uh, Federation Australia sort of stamped on that. Some art glass. Good little lot of Australian pottery mugs. And Sutherland, 19 sort of 40s. Little one's cool as well. Little dancer with a silver overlay. Nice, really nice Japanese canister set, 1930s. Another nice little Oz pottery mug we've got with a nice little art glass jug. This is all good quality Victorian porcelain. There's a little bit of damage on each piece, unfortunately. The bowl has been restored and some of the floral bits are off the others. And this is an amazing bit as well, the Victorian porcelain mirror with the applied cherubs and the wreaths and roses and stuff. You can see that one little candlestick here needs a little bit of work, but the other one's pretty good. A couple of seahorses. Uh, twin gourd soda siphon. Tantless, nice chucky boxes, really nice crystal boudoir lamp, really nice little Australian cedar jewellery box, Wedgwood Comport, which is really nice with a couple of little Italian Florentine bits, um, uranium glass stems, Horrend, and a couple of little bits over the back of the English, Italian, Swedish, Gilliche enameled, or I do like to say galosh. <laughs> nice early bit of Wedgwood. Really nice bit of Murano. Good boomerang. A couple of Roba teapots, both got their infusers. Nice big musical jug. Some Oz pottery. What else have we got here? Uh, Christine, I think, Macquarie. Two bits of her pottery. All right, a couple of nice bits of signed glass, Costa Boda and another little atomizer. It's a good little bit of Keith Murray, a Wedgwood sort of modernist mug. Portuguese porcelain and enameled flowers are pretty amazing. A set of three genie bottles made in Italy on the bases. These are fantastic as well. A little sort of pixie, little 19 sort of 50s pixies there. They've got the double bass player and a Little dancers in their little costumes and stuff. They've all got feathers coming out of their bums. And they are fantastic. She's just the wrong colours though. Black and yellow like that. But so cool. Some great Japanese tin toy robots. And a really nice collection of signed hand-painted orifice glass. There's a big bowl. And then there's two sets of four uh, wine glasses and a little bell as well. Really nice lot. But there you go, guys. That'll do us for this week. Hopefully you saw something you liked. I don't care if you did or if you didn't. <laughs> Be good. See you soon.